In this DIY video, I'm going to show you just how to install a BMW M3 Cal on my 335i. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright, first things first, we're going to remove the cowl assembly. You're going to take an 8mm, 3 8 drive, long extension just so you can get all the way in the back, and then just a few clips uh, to take that off. Next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the washer line from the cow. So you're just gonna pull up right here. Next, we're gonna move both boxes. There's one here and there's one over there. Just pull back on this tab. There's a little clip right here. And there's a clip back here. Pull it out like that. You're gonna pull off your sensor. Twist it until it comes out. You can just go ahead and route this and put this right over here. Same process as before. Move the tab here, here as well. If you have the BMW alarm, you'll need to remove that. But snake it over here, put it right there. Same exact process as the other side. Tab in the back, tab in the front, pull right out. So two simple eight millimeter bolts, one right here and one on exactly on the other side. Eight millimeter right here. Next to remove the wiring from the cow, you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver now you're just gonna pry in here to help pry it out. Sometimes it can just go and come right out, just like so. These clips right here, you're just gonna take the fly head. One, two, three. This will help you release the wiring from the cow. That way you can pull it all out. that we have the stock cow removed. See all this room right here? Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the wires, uh, the main power wire that runs off, uh, tees off over there. Uh, that's for the positive side. And basically to get the cover off because this cover is not gonna work with the M3 cow. So it's pretty simple to remove. Just start with just these tabs right here, a few tabs comes off just like that. And then you can just pull the wires out. Just like that. We're gonna need to move our cables more towards the back because actually on the M3, the engine harness and DME and everything, everything's different. Uh, so with it being on the N54 like this, we don't want the we don't want the cables you know coming across here because that just doesn't look good, so we're gonna to wanna to push everything back. So we're gonna move my old catch can a little bit out of the way so I can try to fish a lot of this stuff uh, here behind everything. So just go ahead and take off the cover here. So with the cover removed and really any time you take parts off to you know complete a process complete a new diy on your bmw it's a good time just to look at the other stuff around it so uh about a year ago actually to this day i did my valve cover i completely replaced my valve cover which came with a new gasket so i'm just looking down inside here just to make sure 
that I don't see any additional leaks uh, as far as, you know, if it just started leaking again, you never know. And uh, everything looks dry. Everything looks good. No concerns, no nothing. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen that uh, DIY video, go ahead and check it out right here above. Oops, go ahead and loosen this bracket here. And there might be enough room to go ahead and snake everything back here. Which looks like, looks like I can. So I've got that moved to the back. Now we're gonna do our second one here. And everything's gonna just be pushed on the back wall. I'll use some zip ties here so we can do that. And this one, I'm not gonna be able to go too far back. So this one I was able to get all the way into the back like that. Now what we'll do is we'll test fit back on our cover. Now, since all that's right there, obviously gonna need to be gonna need to be able to put everything back on. A little finesse. All right, now I'm gonna take some zip ties here, and what we're trying to do is to get a lot of this stuff back as furthest as possible. So this main bigger wire here. And then you're just gonna cut off the excess of Of your zip ties. All right, now that we have all the wires and our positive cable tucked in there, you can see how nice and neat, because the cow's going to cover this right here, and the cow's going to cover that right there. Uh, you're always going to see just that top hose there just a little bit, but that cow's going to connect right there, so it's going to look for a really seamless install and trying to make it really keep it really clean. So since we're done with that and we have the cover back on, we're gonna go ahead and put our hex five bolts back in. This is a chunky piece. So it is a two piece assembly. Centered. So it can sit flush and everything sealed good. So just a little finesse to get it all connected as so.
filters in. Filters just snap into place here. Make sure all sides are good. So there's that one. Go ahead and get your other side. Same thing over here. We'll start on the left side here. Now one thing with this swap is that your sensor for your recirculating doesn't meet all the way here with the connection like where you would actually put it in at. So what you could do is cut the wires and extend it so it can reach. However, this is only activated when you do, when you hit the recirculating and do the A on there. I never ever use that. So I'm just gonna leave it just right up in here, protect it from the elements and not even worry about it. But if you guys want to extend it, you can extend it so it can connect over here, but it's just a little bit short. So first things first, we are going to secure the cow down just so it's all the way down. And it's just using the one of your bolts that you took out your other one on. It's an eight millimeter bolt that's right here. 